and we're back in Moldheim, City of the Dam, with something a little bit different. You see, a long time ago when I used to stream this game, I just was making war bands at random, just seeing what'll happen. This was also pre-release days when weird stuff could happen. And in this war band's first ever mission, they were able to kill a blood letter of corn. So I had to keep them and I kind of wanted to bring this warband back. They are from Altdorf. They are human mercenaries. They're the Altdorf artillery. The whole idea was to have a group of human mercenaries who are just good with guns. If you don't know, the Engineers College is actually in Altdorf. There's also a couple different schools of magic. Altdorf's a really awesome place. The colors are blue and red. And I thought that this would be a really cool thing. The idea is basically that... Let's try this again. And we're back in Moldheim, City of the Dam, for something a little bit different. So a long time ago, I used to stream this game, and there was this one warband that I made at random that wound up slaying a bloodthirster of corn on their first ever mission. This was back when, you know, back before release, when weird stuff could happen, like running into a bloodthirster of corn on your first mission. And it was really amazing. Now, of course, they're different than the warbands that we have running. Right now, of course, we've got the Cult of the Possessed, the Carnival of Chaos, we got Squeak and his people running out, and we've got Mold of the Merciless, so I thought, you know what, let's maybe experiment a little bit with the human mercenaries. We're talking about, well, namely Altdorf is where they come from. They were the Altdorf artillery, the idea behind them was they used nothing but guns, they loved guns, and the Altdorf engineering college is really big that's where most of the engineers come from so i was thinking that a frustrated engineer said screw it i'm gonna make my own money in more time and maybe he brought some of his more desirable peoples or less desirable peoples depending on how you feel depending on how you take it um yeah of course we're gonna start rank zero depending on how you take it with so, him you've decided to brave the city yep. of the damned in search of gold and glory to make his fortune there's no shortage of those who've tried before you if you look hard enough, you'll find their bones littering the ruins. Good. The no. Doesn't forgive mistakes, so you better not make any. We'll try not to. So, all right, war camp. Let's get our veteran system up and running. The first thing that we're really going to need is just access to guns. Buyer, gold crowns, mercenaries. Hmm. Hold on. There we go, veteran skills. Armor, armor's apprentice, bowyer, weaponsmith, gunsmith. Yeah, gunsmith's the first thing. What else do we need? Tailor, weaponsmith, evaluator, reduces the buying price of items. I would really like that considering guns are going to be super duper expensive. But we've got six unspent skills. What else could we work with? Um, I think we're probably going to have to hook up with the librarian at some point in time. I mean, a healer is always good. Merchant is always good. Renown reduces hiring costs. Sounds great. Scholar is always useful for everyone getting their skills up and running. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that. What about commander? Hmm. Reduces the upkeep cost. That's nice. So I think we'll just... Maybe pick up Healer a little bit later, maybe Negotiated. We'll see how it works out. Scholar is probably a really good idea, but not right now. We'll just keep those points to themselves just in case. And we also do have a respec, so hey. Worst comes to worst, we got that respec. Now, we have Belton Von Falkenbird, our estranged engineer, our possibly insane engineer. Let's work on him a little bit. Warrior management. Okay. Of course, we're going to be working on his colors. Our man, should he wear a funny hat? I don't know about that. Maybe he should just go bald? What other options do we have? Hair, no hair. Let's, he lost all of his hair in a freak accident. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. It's how he progresses. So we could go for the main colors of Altdorf are blue and, oh, that works perfectly, number six. Okay, so is six, it's, it's six on everything. There we go. Another six. Ugh, did not work there. Just give him some blue. Okay. You know what? That's not too bad. Can we maybe change this up a little bit? There we go. 
All right, let's rock out with that. He's very proud of being from Altdorf, even though he possibly got kicked out. All right, there we go. And they're probably just reusing whatever they could find from Altdorf. So we need to grab a hero really quick. And of course, it's going to be a young blood. I'm assuming the apprentice to our master engineer, Ida. No, maybe we'll grab up Ida later, even though she does start out with a gun, which is perfect. We're going to rock out with our young blood, who is, of course, his apprentice, his assistant, who sadly was forced to come because, hey, that's that's kind of the only thing he had going for himself in Altorf. It's either that or he joins up with what, what's the guild's name? Oh, yeah, the guild of the dock workers. It's one or the other. Let's give him. Yeah. Do we rock out with the point tail or do we let's go with the bandana? We're rocking out with the bandana, y'all. Red, red, blue. You know what? Blue bandana works fantastically. He's only got one type of style. What can we do? We can still rock out with the blue. Let's rock out with the red, actually. Dark and the red looks nice on him. Long sleeves. Pouches. I, I feel like he's carrying more pouches than anything LaField has ever drawn. Because, I mean, he's the apprentice to an engineer. It's kind of something he should be rocking out with. Um, Let's get some more red. Actually, that's not too bad. It looks a little odd, though. If we get red and then blue, that would look perfect. Hmm... Nothing? No red and blue? Hey, hey, uh, that's blue and red. Come on. We've got all these colors. Well, 18's not looking too bad. Worst case scenario, we go with 18. Okay, 18 it is on both sides. And it doesn't look too terrible, right? Conrad, we're, we're gonna set you up. Some blue pants, or should we just rock out with red pants, actually? Or we could go with the dark pants. I think we'll rock out with the dark. There we go. At least he's still wearing blue. What do we have here? I like that a little bit better. Here, uh. Hmm, yeah, we're going with two here. It seems like he's carrying more. It, it makes him look more like the apprentice. And let's rock out. Oh! That's not terrible. I think we could rock with that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, Conrad's looking good. Let's get some henchmen. I feel like we go two marksmen. I know it sounds crazy. We're gonna pick up two marksmen. That's quite possibly a death sentence. I know, I know, but that's, that's what he had on disposal. Maybe an actual hunter. Let's just keep his look very similar to this. Let's downplay it a little bit, yeah. There we go. And he'll wear red on top. And lower will be blue. Perfect. So everybody knows where he's from, what he's up to. Um, what do we do for the belt? Uh, model. It'd be lovely if we could have uh, something like that kind of works. Now nah, let's just keep it a knife. There we go. He was actually able to persuade a hunter who works on the grounds of the Altorf engineering school. Now this guy... I feel like he had to at least grab one, like, noble kid that didn't really fit. Didn't really fit in. So let's let's make this guy kind of look like that. Peter. Hopefully, uh, Mr. Schmidt. Okay. Does, does Mr. Schmidt have a goatee? No. No, I don't think he does. There we go. He's gruff and tumble. You can't tell him what to do. Now for the hair, we got to make our man a blonde, I figure. Hmm. I guess that's as blonde as we can get. Yeah. 
That's as blonde as we could get, unless we include a little bit of facial hair. How would that look, actually? Uh, he's young. Let's let's remove the facial hair, right? Okay. So he looks a little younger. He he is a playboy, or at least he was that one rich kid who really shouldn't have been in the engineer school. His parents sent him to the engineer school, you know, so he wouldn't fall in with a bad crowd. And he wound up just, but hmm, possibly angering one of his teachers. Let, let's let's say that maybe angering his teachers, not doing his work. That's kind of how it was. He just kind of coasted there. And when he got the opportunity to say to leave the Engineers Guild and try to make his own fortune, he was like, you know what? Yeah. After dealing ranged damage, ranged hit chance increases by 10% for one turn. That's beautiful. And it's stackable. Yeah, our people are going to be doing some damage later on. I think he looks good. Mr. Schmidt, you're looking good. You're looking good, sir. So we've got our squad. We have our team. Let's see what we can buy. Hopefully in the shop, we might wait a day or two just to see if we could find anything, you know, nice. Okay, come on shop, what do we got? We have a crossbow, a normal bow, meh. Heavy armor, dagger, mace. Yeah, we have no guns yet. We could have hired that one woman. Um, do we have a helmet? Yeah. I feel like our engineer knows the importance of helmets after losing all of his hair. Or at least that's my belief. Crossbow, heavy armor, halberd, mace. We could pick up a mace for someone. And we could also pick up a... We could pick up a crossbow. And we could also pick up a bow. Yeah, let's do that. Range weapons are our friends. Or at least they're this warband's friends. We're going to chill out a day. Hold on. Let me see what we could do here with veteran skills. Is there anything else that we could pick up that might just help us? Alchemist, we get potions, armor, free armor, armor's apprentice, we'll get a free shield or a helmet, bowyer, we would get a nice bow, great weaponsmith, leather worker. Let's get in contact with leather worker. I can't imagine too many people wearing heavy armor. We're maybe gonna get one character to wear heavy armor. Okay. Now, equipment. You, sir, are going to be using this crossbow. Of course, he's going to have the sword and the shield to rely on. He served some time in the military. He knows what's up. There we go. And of course, we have to fix his helmet up just a little bit. It's got to be the right colors. It's got to be the right style. If you won't have that blue and red, you ain't from Aldorf. All right. So we've got that working. You, sir, you need a ranged weapon badly. The bow. A halberd right there. Okay. Sadly, apparently no one could steal any guns. And all we're rocking out with right now are bows. That's, that's all that they could get. Or, most likely, that's what was made. I forgot that we had this guy on, on the squad. So what do we do for him? I completely glossed over him. I'm guessing he was just a guard at Aldorf who said, you know what? Screw it. Let me go with this guy and see if I can make my fortune. It's better than staying in Aldorf. Or at least it's better than just being a guard to all these prissy little... I, I don't know. These prissy little so-and-sos. It's better than that. And of course, now he has to deal with Mr. Schmidt who drinks at all hours of the morning, or all hours of the day. And is just not, not the most equipped, but he's a good shot, so he's gotta deal with him. That's what I think. Kid's a good shot, so he's just gotta deal. And this is, of course, it should be red. There we go, so we're looking for eight. I like to make sure everything is coordinated. Sir's looking good. He's got his packs, he's got his war skin, he's got what should be black powder, but hey, we're, we're doing all right. So we've got our team, we're looking good. I wish we had another ranged weapon for him. 
I kind of want to say, hey, let's wait a day. But no, I think it's time that we go in, unless... I mean... Yeah, it's looking like we're heading in. We've got some heavy armor. But I really don't want to saddle anyone with heavy armor just yet. Let's hop in and see what happens. We may do a 2-4, depending on how this works out. Average, Hunter in the Darkness, let's go for that. Alright, we've got our squad. Our team is ready. Let's see... Oh! I forgot to name them the Altor Fertillery. Causes both groups of warriors to flee in terror. As the apparition fades away, your warriors recover their courage. Scattered in their flight, your war band is spread out across the ruins, but so too are your enemies. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you hadn't noticed, we're going to be going up against the sisters of the or at least my most hated enemy warband, because I hate just playing against them. I hate it. Like, I, I literally hate it. So, we're all ranged, and we need to group up quick. Ooh, the Hammers of Judgment, that's what they're called. Um, the cool thing is, we've got a lot of... We have a lot of chances to get a... A, um, I, I want to say elevation advantage. On the sisters. And we already seen one! Okay, where's she? She's right there. There's really nowhere to run. So let's see, let's see how we can do this, All right? We got two fragments. I'm gonna grab one there. And we take 12 points of damage just at the start. Take this one. Okay, so we got two fragments. Now, where's the rest of the team, and when is she going to act? Here she is. Oh, wait, no. So, who's that? Okay, no, that's something entirely. No, that's that's a sister. That's actually the matron. All right, this is, this is going from bad to worse. Well, we do need to take her out, so that's good. Um, he needs to... He needs to be protected by Mr. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, should we try to get the elevation advantage? Uh, we cannot move enough. Because ideally, he would be at a higher vantage point to shoot down on to wh whoever locks up with... I want to say the group's the the group's bodyguard. He's he's really the mom of the group, ladies and gentlemen. We could get a cheeky shot off right here, which might be for the best. Nice. Okay, so we did some damage, and the good news about it, right? We're gonna get another shot, which is beautiful. Ugh. The good news about it is, he's going to be moving next turn. Do we ambush? That might be the best idea. Because I've kind of worked myself into a very odd situation, right? Hmm. I'm not liking this. I feel like I've already made a grievous error. So she's going to do some shrooms. Oh, okay, sister. Cast Sigmar's might. All right, there you go. Oh, you failed? Sigmar, could you please... Okay, there we go. Open wounds. I'll take that. Just coming and ambush. No. Because, yeah, it wasn't going to cover it. So. Very, very bad decisions. And someone in the comments is just, just livid. Okay, let's move this way. Oh, is that what I think it is? We got our weird zone. And better yet, we could see what's in here. So we have an option to take their heavy armor. We could sell that. We could do something with it. And we're also going to take their torch. And it's a straight shot back. 
All right, cool. Now here's the question, what do we do? We got Liberator's Boon. We could try to make a run for it, or we could go for this weird stone. Is there anything good on this pile? Eesh. Not really fantastic. We could go over here and we can grab a shard. I'll take the shard. So we're full up. We can run back to our wagon and hopefully not get attacked. Overwatch. That's what I'm hoping. So how I messed up was I should have taken that shot, moved one of our boys back. Uh, also not good. Okay. So we're right here. He needs to move to a position to attack the matron. Are these stairs? Okay, there we go. It's a little it's a little dark in here, y'all. I could shoot someone? Who? Oh. I have a 19% chance to shoot her. Okay, let's move up. Eesh. Seventy nine percent chance to hit her. Forty four percent chance to hit her. Yikes. Let's go for her. Nice. And hopefully next turn he'll be able to do something impressive. But right now he's just chilling. End turn. Peter. Where are you, Peter? Way out of the way, we could try to grab a little bit of weird stone on our way down to protect everyone. Let's try to go for that. Little bit of weird stone. We got one frag, but I'll take that. The ultimate goal is to take out our opponent's two heavies. I guess we gotta take the shot, huh? We can't aim, so just take the shot uh, and hope you hit. Not really too good. End turn. She's going to be moving very soon. Really, all we need to do is take out one opponent before they take us out. I'm just, I'm just beside myself right now. Because I'm a little afraid. Okay, well, he's about to get run down on. Good hit. Mm. This is going to get nuts very, very soon. A new round. Okay, what are we going to do for you? You got to attack. We could have him run away, but that's not really going to help right now. Squire's Curse. Nice. Good hit. Dodge up. You, sir, you're going to go for it. Beautiful. Okay, so she's taking quite a bit of damage. Dodge stance. Hopefully she's going to do some crazy... Failed her all alone. Run away, please. Yes! Are we going to get the final hit? Come on, Squire. You got this. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Now we can take a good shot at her. Sadly, we can't take two. Should have used an aim shot there. But, you know, I'm so used to just things hitting. Jormil spoiled me. Jormil and Squeak have spoiled me rotten, you guys. Dodge stance there. Reload. And now how should we proceed? We go take up some more weird stone or we need to help the rest of the team. 
I'm going to move him to try to help the rest of the team. Hmm. He's not really doing too good there. We're going to loot her because we actually do need to go ahead and pick up that holy tome. Might as well grab what will sell more, the flail of the antitoxin. Flail. Objective completed. Okay, we got one. Updated. And we can take a shot, take a shot. <sighs> oh, man. Okay, so they passed the route test, which is either the greatest thing for us or the worst thing. And she broke her ankle. Good. Well, I can understand why she failed. She did get shot in the knee. And again, you know, you could always go the other way around, right? Yep. Nice hit. Kind of in a very, very precar precarious situation right now. So I don't think we're going to get Leoma. We're just going to try to take out one woman and just be happy. And just be happy. As quickly as possible. Okay. Thank good thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Passes all loan check. Good job. We're gonna disengage and we're gonna be up out. Okay, now the question is, where do we go? The ideal space is a space where we would only have to fight one of them. Switch weapons. And we've got parry stance. Okay, here we go. That's the ideal, right? Where only one of them can attack us. Okay. We can run away more. Yep. Just run away. Really? He can't attack her? We're gonna have to have him jog all the way around. He had to go all the way around so he could hit you. Do we go for the charge? The charge is what, 66%? That looks good. Like, it looks really good. We're gonna try it and cross our fingers. Beautiful. Okay. I'll take it. And we still could throw up that dodge stance. Okay. Attack. Nice. And she's down. For the count, and that should mean drought of focus. And we got another mace. I'll take it. And we'll take the shield. Sadly, we're not going to get that extra XP. But I'm kind of okay with that. In all honesty. We're going to dodge stance it up out here just in case somebody tries to come this way. Um, Peter. Reload. Good job, sir. Yeah, everybody just stay where you are and hope that they don't pass any check. We're gonna have him go in here. Can he, will he have enough movement to climb up maybe? Uh, let's see. Yeah, Overwatch. Okay, so we have a bit of advantage right here. Him, he's still doing good, Overwatch again. Okay. What? That's... Really? Okay, so the entire rest of the team is going to have to go help the old engineer. Because he, he made the right decision. He got... See, he got the parry. And he's going to be able to work her down in a one versus one scenario. But are you kidding me? Look, they got 20 left! But no, it's okay. 
All right. This is Sigmar and all that. That's just how they operate. So one has at least headed in this direction, right? That's pretty good. One. Are we going to get a second hit? Beautiful. Ugh. So he can maybe take two hits from her. That's that's the best he's got. Hopefully we'll get a stun on his next turn, but I don't know about that. This is looking mighty fishy. So we've got one to that way, one that way. Uh, and we don't know where she is. She's she's just somewhere right now. Our our real major priority is trying to keep Oh, she's up here, isn't she? Is trying to keep our leader alive. Okay, and the the best way to go is through that door. I hate to say that, but it's the best idea. It really is. Dodge stance right here. We got to be careful. The team took quite a bit of damage. And we still have that one woman who's running around okay he's just just guarding everything isn't he we could delay just to see what happens okay he's going to have to move over in this direction he might be able to make this jump down and take a shot We'll do it. No, he's not close enough, but hey. He's not doing terrible. Next turn, he should be able to at least support the old engineer. Peter, where are you going, man? Okay, what would happen if we go up with Peter? Mmm, we gotta go back down with Peter. Okay. Where is she? She she's really the biggest thorn in our side right now. Okay, I heard footsteps. Okay, it looks like we're good. Now this is also really scary, right? She's she's somewhere. She's trying to surprise somebody. Found her. Okay, so she was coming for him anyhow. The crappy part about this is. She's going to attack him, and he's not going to be able to... Ooh! Ambush. That's both good and bad. Yes! Another parry. There you go, Velton. Show her what age and experience can do. And possibly a little craziness. A new round has started. Okay, go for it. Yes! Okay. Okay, the old Earth artillery is going so well right now. Let's go! What she got on her? We'll keep the heavy armor because maybe we'll use that at some point in time. We could... Should we keep the Sigmar? Yeah, we'll keep... We'll keep that because I don't want them to get their... Will back. We're going to switch weapons and then we're going to reload. And turn there. Oh, this is beautiful. question is can we charge her no we don't uh jb can't out charge her uh yeah beautiful so hopefully we'll be able to take her out next turn yeah we should be able to we should be able to take out wilda 
Oh, that was that was very very risky, JB. We got the hopeful result. Like that was great. We'll be able to. We just win. Well, they've got one person left. Oh uh, yeah. So not too bad. We picked up some items. We got shard. We got fragment. Most valuable warrior goes to Conrad. All right, I can believe that. He did a lot of damage. And we actually managed to pull that one out of the bag. The foe upon the field of is a great now we need guns. Like, I would really like some guns. Like, a lot of guns. Okay, so we got points to leadership, alertness. Points to weapon skill, ballistic skill, okay. We'll even out the weapon skill with him. Nothing for either one of them. Uh, we got weapon skill. We'll probably put that towards weapon skill instead of ballistic skill. Actually, we might even him out on his ballistic skill. We got a great sword. Not like we're gonna use it. But we got a great sword. Where are you guys selling? The same BS items. Let's see. Let's go over here and see what we can do. Hagler, increase selling price of items, reduces treatment costs, merchant, increases the chance of a sale. Okay, I like that. Worst case scenario, we could always fix these up a little later. And also, I have a respec, so hey, worst case scenario, we'll use that up. Let's pay everybody. Confirmed. Are we good? Are we good? Everybody's looking all right. Next day. A new shipment has been requested. We got a formula of the mercenaries and we got a honey grateful. We got a honey grateful, finally. The only question is who's going to use the hunting rifle? I'm thinking we're we're gonna give it to our boy right here. Since he's been complaining this entire time, I need a I need a gun. I, I need a weapon that I can actually use properly. Yeah, you know, since he really didn't do too much damage, we got a mana hunting rifle. And so starts the adventures of the Altdorf artillery. Let me rename the warband right now. The altar for artillery. Alright, thank you all for watching. Please be excellent to each other. Tell me what you guys think about the new warband. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it's a fun idea that we can play around with and try to work considering everybody needs to have like a decent ballistic skill? And hopefully we get more guns. Anyhow, peace out. Please be excellent to each other and have a nice day.